everyone, my name is Atisha and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Tailwind CSS to your React project. In the previous Tailwind CSS installation video, we had used the Tailwind CLI. So if you are building just a simple HTML CSS project, you can refer to that video. The link of it is given in the description box and also at the top. So let's dive in. So I've already created a project folder with the name React Tailwind CSS installation. And here first I'm going to create a React boilerplate project. So I'm going to go within the terminal provided by Visual Studio Code. Let me expand this a bit. And in here, I'm going to write the command npx create react app. And since I want to create it within it, I'm going to use a dot in here. So after this is done, you would be able to see certain new files and folder within our project folder that we have created. Okay, so our boilerplate project is created. Let's open this and see what it shows. So I'm writing the command npm run start. Okay, so we can see our project is created. Now it's time to install Tailwind CSS in it. So for installation of Tailwind CSS, we are going to refer to the documentation. So I'm going to go to this tailwindcss.com, go within docs. And in the installation, there are certain ways by which we can install Tailwind CSS in our project. So we are going to go within the framework guides. And since uh, we want to install it in React, so this is what we are going to use. So as a first step, it is written that create your project. So we have already done it. We have already used this command. As the next step, we need to install Tailwind CSS via NPM. So I'm going to copy this from here, open a new terminal and paste this line. So once this is in installed, we would be able to see it in our package.json file within the dev dependencies. So yeah, we can see the Tailwind CSS is installed. As the next step, we need to initialize Tailwind CSS in our project. So once this is done, we should be able to see a new file called as tailwind.config.js file, which will contain all the configurations related to Tailwind CSS in our project. For the third step, we need to configure our template path. What does that mean? We need to specify in which all files and folders are we going to use Tailwind CSS. So let me copy this from here. And within the content, I'm going to paste this line. So what this is saying is within the source folder, whatever folder and subfolders it is going to have uh, with uh, the extension js, jsx, ts or tsx, it's going to uh, look out for those files while seeing which all files have Tailwind CSS written in it. Since in the source folder, we don't have any subfolder, so I'm going to remove this. Also, we just have JS files. So I am also going to remove this from here and save. Okay, this is also done. Now for the fourth step, we need to add the Tailwind directives. Let me first copy this and explain you what this is going to do. So in our index.css file, whatever code is there, I am going to remove this from here and paste these three lines. So this add the rate Tailwind is nothing but a directive which is used to include the Tailwind's base components and utility style into our project. Okay. Now it's uh, time to move to the next step. So as the next step, we need to just uh, start our build process. So let me close the existing one that I, we have and write this npm run start. Okay. Okay. So now in order to see whether Tailwind CSS is installed properly or not, I will remove all the code that is written our app.js file and we will just write hello world and try to style it. So in here, I'm going to remove all of these I also remove this one and then in here I will create a h1 which will say hello world let's see yeah hello world is there let's try, uh, try to style it with tailwind css so I will give it a class name of text of say 7xl and also keep it in the center I will give it a text color of blue say 400 and save yeah, we can see hello world is written and it's in blue color. Uh, similarly, we can also give a uh, say background strip to it. So let's give a background of black. Yeah, so our Tailwind CSS is installed properly. You can see how easy it was to install Tailwind CSS in your React project. But if you are facing any issues installing it in your existing React project, do let me know in the comments. I will surely reply to that. Also, if you want me to make other such videos on Tailwind CSS installation in different frameworks, do let me know in the comments as well. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future. See you in the next one.